Thank you for coming. My name is Jessica Drake. I am currently contracted to Wicked Pictures as an adult performer and director in adult film. I am a feminist, an advocate for women's rights, LGBTQ rights, and the rights of sex workers. I am involved with many charities, both locally, the Downtown Women's Center and AIDS Walk LA, and also internationally, Habitat for Humanity, on larger scales, and I have been for the past eight years. For the past five years, I have also been involved in sex education, doing public speaking and workshops on sexuality, consent, and communication. I created a line of educational movies that are a hybrid of factual information and hardcore demonstrations with emphasis on boundaries, body positivity, and consent. Ten years ago, I was working for Wicked Pictures, an adult film company, at a golf tournament in Lake Tahoe. I was at Wicked's booth when I met Donald Trump in the celebrity gift room early in the morning before he teed off. He flirted with me and invited me to walk along the golf course with him, which I did. During that time, he asked me for my phone number, which I gave to him. Later that evening, he invited me to his room. <coughs> I said I didn't feel right going alone, so two other women came with me. In the penthouse suite, I met Donald again. When we entered the room, he grabbed each of us tightly in a hug and kissed each one of us without asking permission. He was wearing pajamas. A bodyguard was also present. He asked me about my job as an adult film star, about details on shooting porn, and he also asked us about our personal relationships and whether we were married or single. We answered his questions. It felt like an interview. About 30 or 45 minutes later, we left his room. After I returned to my room, I received a call from a man calling on Donald's behalf. He said Donald wanted me to come back upstairs to Donald's suite. I indicated I did not wish to return. Then Donald called. He asked me to return to his suite and have dinner with him. He also invited me to a party. I declined. Donald then asked me, what do you want? How much? I told him that I couldn't because I had to return to LA for work. I said that as an excuse because I didn't want him to continue asking me and I didn't want to be with him. After that, I received another call from either Donald or a male calling on his behalf offering me $10,000. I declined again and once more gave as an excuse that I had to return to Los Angeles for work. I was then told Mr. Trump would allow me to use his private jet if only I accepted his invitation. I did relate my experiences immediately afterwards to some friends. Out of respect to the other parties involved and their families, I will not share their names, I am choosing to share my personal exchange in light of the recently released case in order to lend my voice, my strength, and my support to the other women who are coming forward. Collectively, his words and his actions are a huge testament to his character, that of uncontrollable misogyny, entitlement, and being a sexual assault apologist. This is not acceptable behavior for anyone. 
much less a presidential candidate. And I realize that in this situation I may be but a tiny grain of sand, but clearly. This is an enormous speech. I am not looking for monetary compensation. I do not need additional fame or the type of attention that this is sure to bring. I understand that I may be called a liar or an opportunist, but I will risk that in order to stand in solidarity with women who share similar accounts that span many, many years. Thank you.